It's a Smite with game. I like this little beat right here. Yeah, this is a nice little beat. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little different. Um, it's going to be a makeup tutorial, but it's gonna have a twist on it. So um, as you guys know, I am in college. I attend the University of Cincinnati. And um, for my intro to psych class, one of our uh, our final project is to make a video presentation um, that has to center around the Heroic Imagination Project. So I have some notes down here so I can remember to hit all the points. But the Heroic Imagination Project is a nonprofit organization founded by psychologist Philip Zimbardo that teaches people how to take effective action in challenging situations. So I'm thinking like, okay, how can I tie this into my YouTube channel? Because um, the video, it has to be like, uh, it has to be a YouTube video. So I'm like, I already have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to tie it into what I already do on my channel. So um, our, that was our assignment to make the YouTube video on the basis of the Heroic Imagination Project. So um, I chose to do a makeup tutorial based on somebody that is a hero to me. So um, I chose X-Men um, collectively as a group. Um, there are a subspecies, subspecies, that's a little hard, subspecies of humans who are born with superhuman abilities and it's activated by the X gene. So the X-Men fight for peace, equality between normal humans and mutants in a world where anti-mutant bigotry is widespread. So basically like the conflict between mutants and normal humans is often compared to like real world situations that's like um, racism and um, world conflicts against minority groups such as African Americans. So um, basically a lot of people compare the two basically saying that like X-Men are kind of like the minority groups in America. So um, I really like this quote from... Um, X-Men writer Chris Claremont, he said, The X-Men are hated, feared, and despised collectively by humanity for no other reason than that they are mutants. So what we have here, intended or not, is a book that is about racism, bigotry, and prejudice. <laughs> prejudice. <laughs> so basically, um, I chose Storm from X-Men, and I was Storm for Halloween. So I did do this makeup look previously. And um, what I was going to do is, well, what I'm going to do is basically recreate the makeup look and do a tutorial on the makeup look that I did for my Storm character because um, it is a wearable look that you can wear every day. I'm going to insert pictures of my costume at the end and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, it, it's very important to me that you guys understand the purpose behind this like storm is the only african-american woman in x-men and she's played by halle berry and i really like that it's an african-american um superhero super woman hero um out there because it's like it, it it shows representation especially putting her in x-men the fact that it's like the backstory is kind of, I know I'm tongue-tied, the backstory is kind of like racism in America. Like, um, sometimes the X-Men are targeted by mob groups, which, which can show, like, comparison to the civil rights era to where African Americans were mobbed and lynched and um, put through horrible things like the X-Men were. So that comparison is very, very, very real. And um, I just really hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. What is a hero? We hear that word thrown around a lot today. If someone is adept at sports, we'll call them a sports hero, basketball hero, baseball hero. If they can play a, an electric guitar extremely well, we might refer to them as a guitar hero. There's even a video game called that. And if there's a sandwich you really like, well, they even have a sandwich called The Hero. <laughs> but what is a hero? I think we've lost the meaning of the word today. A hero is someone who does something selfless 
and sacrificial. A hero is someone who puts the needs of others above themselves. I think in our culture today we have a lot of celebrities but very few heroes. Never have we known so much about people who in so many ways matter so little. We need more heroes. One person summed it up this way, drawing a contrast between celebrities and heroes. A hero is known for achievements, the celebrity for well-knownness. The hero reveals the possibilities of human nature, <coughs> excuse me, the celebrity reveals the possibilities of the press and media. Celebrities are people who make news, but heroes are people who make history. Time makes heroes, but dissolves celebrities." End quote. Sometimes we don't know who the real heroes are until much later. Sometimes they hold a position before it's popular. They do something before it's fully understood. And with the passing of time, they're vindicated. And we come to regard them as doing something heroic. Well, I want to talk to you about heroes today, but I want to discuss unsung heroes. In contrast to a hero that may get the recognition they deserve, an unsung hero rarely does. They are the people that work behind the scenes. They are the ones that do a lot of the heavy lifting but are rarely rewarded for it. All right, you guys, this is the final look. So this is how I did my store makeup for Halloween. I did have on a white wig and I also had on some white contacts, but I wanted to make this a very wearable look so you can be an everyday hero just like Storm. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be leaving the links to the um, Heroic Imagination Project website in the description box if you wanted to go check that out. So thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, positivity, and happiness. Bye guys. And then a hero comes along with the strength to Cast your fears aside And you know you can't survive So when you feel